and forecast. You are looking live at a drive for now downtown Charlottesville as viewed by our East Market Street weather camera. You can see that breeze flapping the flags there across the street and eventually over the next hour or two for sure. Some snow, mostly sleet and freezing rain is on the way. All right, let's get you set up for your day ahead. This is a first alert weather day. I'm meteorologist Josh Fitzpatrick. As we first alerted you back on Monday night, today would be a very messy day and the National Weather Service continues a winter storm warning for the Shenandoah Valley Blue Ridge Mountains through 7 p.m. for more significant wintry weather. Less in the way of amounts east of the Blue Ridge, but still impactful east into central Virginia. In that first forecast for today, wintry precipitation, a little snow, mostly sleet and freezing rain overspreads the area from southwest to the northeast. Temperatures barely around freezing and then inching our way up above freezing on towards 2, 3 o'clock over much of the area. So it won't be until the end of the day before we get well into the mid, if not upper 30s and some lingering drizzle at 5 p.m. as the bulk of the moisture begins to move away. So temperatures are critical. We are mostly near freezing first thing this morning and our storm team 29's live Doppler radar network is showing a little sleet, snow, and some freezing rain advancing its way from southwest to the northeast and it's mostly that mix you can see on the legend here that mix in the purple and the pink so as this advances across the area there may be an initial burst of some snow but it's mostly going to be some sleet and freezing rain this initial band may not be quite reaching the ground but it will here shortly it is a precipitation into Roanoke with a cold rain sleet and also some snow but this moisture goes all the way down into Alabama and Georgia so we have a, several hours to go through is just starting. Our high res weather tracker is showing over the next few hours between now and 8 a.m. from the southwest to the northeast that moisture overspreads the region. It's mostly in the form of sleet and freezing rain, not much snowfall. Here's midday. You'll notice the Route 15 corridor changing over to a cold rain, still pockets of ice across the Route 29 corridor and back into the Shenandoah Valley and on towards 3 p.m. the bulk of the moisture begins to change over to a plain old cold rain, pockets of ice into rocking County on towards six o'clock when you join us for the evening news. Well, it'll be mostly just some drizzle left over as the bulk of the storm is moving on out of here. Some partial clearing and drying overnight into the day of Sunday. Sunday morning could be some patchy ice in the morning because of some refreezing. I'm not impressed with our snow chances. It's little to no accumulation across the Piedmont. Now there may be a little coat of snow and sleet for the Route 29 corridor, perhaps a bit more than that for the Blue Ridge and into the Shenandoah Valley. It's mostly going to be an ice event, a glaze. You know, remember that freezing rain clings. It causes that glaze of ice while sleet pings. It's, all, it's almost like frozen raindrops. So freezing rain is the worst type of precipitation. It's, it can cause power outages, especially if you get more than a quarter inch of ice. Our forecast model is showing that, especially across the higher terrain of the Blue Ridge, there into Wintergreen and Afton. So if you don't need to travel this morning, just hold off. Forecast for today, first alert weather day for an icy mix to rain, slick areas, highs inching their way above freezing, but not until about mid afternoon on a widespread scale. The rain exits this evening. It may end as some mist and drizzle, some refreezing by tomorrow morning with temperatures near or a little bit below freezing. Your Sunday forecast improving conditions under a partly sunny sky. It'll, it'll be a blustery day with highs in the low 40s in the valley, barely 50 across central Virginia. Here's your seven day forecast 20s tomorrow night, 40s on Monday and mostly sunny and Tuesday looks to be a very wet day, an inch or three inches of rain light likely followed by a drying trend next Wednesday and Thursday and maybe some more rain next Friday.